right, hi guys, welcome to this video. I am excited to go thrift book shopping. I have done a part one, I guess, of this, or I did a similar video. I will link it for you guys. Um, but this time we are going to a different city. I've never been to these bookstores that we are going to. I think I saw like four different ones. All right, I think that's a little bit better. So we're gonna go check them out, see what I can find. But yes, I don't have anything in particular that I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna see what we find and hopefully that these bookstores are good. So, it takes like an hour to get there, which actually isn't that bad because in my hometown, the like good used bookstore was like 40 minutes away with traffic, it was like an hour. So it's basically the same thing, but I'm going, gonna go ahead and head out. The weather is nice today, so hopefully it'll be nice there. And I'm gonna try to stop to get some coffee. good selection but it was definitely for older <laughs> readers like a ton of those like mystery thrillers you always see older people reading like JD Robb and Danielle Steele and all those not a lot of like literary fiction and all that stuff so that's all right I didn't really get a good clips either because it was so tiny I feel awkward, but we're gonna go check out the next one. And hopefully it's a little bit better, a little bit bigger as well. So let's go check it out. shopping it was a, like I said a kind of successful time I found uh, some good books 
I found a really cool art print. But yeah, it was it was fun. I'm glad I went. Um, yeah, so let's start off with second bookshop. The first bookshop, I told you guys, I didn't see anything that I really liked. The second bookshop was really cool. Your typical like independent bookstore. Um, they claim to have used books. I didn't see any used books. They all look brand new and their prices weren't very used book. They were kind of expensive. So I only got one book from them, but I did find the really cool print there. So this is the print that I got. It is Game of Thrones inspired. And it says, sleep is good, he said, and books are better. This is said by Tyrion Lannister and A Clash of Kings, which is the second book. But yes, I love this. It's on um, a print of Game of Thrones. It says it's the Dance with Dragons page. So I love that little detail. But yes, I love this. I can't wait to put this up in my actual library whenever I move into my actual house, my own apartment. Yeah, so I was super happy to find this. They had a bunch of other quotes, but I just thought this was perfect. So love that. And the book that I bought was this one here. It's called Luna New Moon by Ian McDonald. So I have seen this series um, kind of floating around. I think I got recommended it on Goodreads, actually. It is a sci-fi thriller, and I believe it's a trilogy, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, so it sounds like there are a ton of different industries and companies that now live on the moon, and you're following this one family, um, the Corda family. And it says, if the Corda family is to survive, Adriana's five children must defend their mother's empire from her many enemies and one another. That just sounds so good. <laughs> so yes, you guys don't know, I love books set in space and this sounds so good on the moon. I'm, I'm excited to try this out to see if I like it. I've had my eye on it for a while. So that is the first book I got there. And then the third place I went to, it had a ton of good reviews, but it was like, I was, when I was driving there, I was like, where in the world am I? I left the city, I was kind of like in the country. I was like, where am I? <laughs> but the people there were so nice. It was like old ladies ran the store and they had a ton of books. So I did pick up a couple. I ended up getting three from them and this was $6. Now this is what I'm talking about, thrift book prices. <laughs> So the first one I got is an Ursula Le Guin, who I have not read yet, but of course she is a classic sci-fi writer. And another funny thing about this is that I actually saw this book in the previous bookstore and I was thinking about getting it, but it was like, a, it was way too much money I thought for a thrift bookstore. So I found this amazing edition. Like look at this old school edition. Look at this, look at this cover. <laughs> I love it. Look at the back. Like I'm not one for these like tiny mass market paperbacks, but I think if you are a sci-fi fan or a fantasy fan, there's something about these like old school um, covers that just like get to you. So I saw this and I was like, I actually wanted to read this book. It sounds really good. This says you are on a alien planet where all the people are of one sex and the lone Earthman is forced into a subtle planetary intrigue where he is the pawn and his future is the prize. So I'm not sure, but I know I need to read some Ursula Le Guin. Then I found this book here called Syracusa, Syracusia. I used to know how to say this, dang it. This is by Delia Epfron and um, this is a thriller set in Sicily. Yes, and you're following two people. You're following New Yorkers, Michael and Lizzie. They travel to Italy with their friends from Maine, Finn, Taylor, and their daughter, Snow. Set on the sun-drenched coast of the Ionian Sea, Circusia unfolds with the pacing of a psychological thriller and delivers an unexpected final act that none will see coming. So this book, I've had this on my radar for a while, and a few years ago, maybe, um, Oh my gosh, Max, his name is Max. What is his Instagram? I'll put it here. He talked about this book when he read it and he loved it and he has like really good taste in books. So he loved it and I have been wanting to read it since he said that he loved it. So super happy with this and this was a dollar, amazing. All right, the last book that I have to show you guys is another book that I actually saw in the second bookstore because they had this little shelf of books that won a ton of different awards and this book caught my eye because it looked like a dark academia book and I don't think it is a dark academia, 
but it caught my eye because it looks like a dark academia and on the front cover it says may well be the best historical mystery ever written so it is this one here called an instance of the finger post which is a strange title by ian pierce i've never heard of this but i saw it at the other bookstore and i was like that is weird i have never seen this book in my life and now i'm seeing it twice and i wanted it at the other bookstore so i was like all right i think that's my sign to get it this costs four dollars so this is a thick mystery like classic mystery i think um it is i'm gonna read the back because i think the back really like sets it i won't be able to sum it up really well but it says it is 1663 and england is racked with intrigue and civil strife when an oxford dawn is murdered it seems at first that the incident could have nothing to do with great matters of church and state who poured the arsenic into the victim's brandy the evident the evidence points to sarah blundy a servant girl she confesses to the crime and is sentenced to be hanged yet little is as it seems in the scripting novel which dramatizes the ways in which witnesses can see the same events yet remember them falsely each of four narrators a venetian medical student a young man intent on proving his late father innocent of treason treason bleh, a, crypt a cryptographer and an archivist fingers a different culprit an erudite and entertaining tour de force and there's like so many quotes that say this book is incredible on the back it won a ton of awards new york Times bestseller i don't know i never heard of it and i love a good mystery i have discovered that i'm not really a fan of thrillers but like a good intense mystery i am down for i've never heard anyone talk about this let me know if you've heard about of this i'm gonna look it up now after but yeah i'm excited for a nice good chunky dark mystery sounds amazing so these are the four books. Let me get them all together. These are the four books that I ended up finding, thrifting today, which I think is pretty good. Plus my really cute little art print that I'm excited about. So yes, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. I think this is gonna be a pretty short video. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video coming thrifting with me. Let me know if you've heard of any of these books and which one I should check out first, which one I need to try to put on my TBR for my um, TBR games, let me know and I will catch you guys in my next one.